Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, 2022. And before we jump into things here, I want to talk about the links in my description. I do have a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, and I also have a TCG Player affiliate link. And any purchase that you make using that link, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. I also have a Spreadshirt shop with a ton of different designs and a Your Playmat discount code for 10% off where you can build your own custom Playmat and card sleeves. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make these videos on a daily basis, so thank you very much. Now, let's get moving. Starting list off here today with Old Gnawbone from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. This dragon is down 6.03% today from $27.51 to $25.85 on the market and its average price is $27.26. And the next loser we have on our loser section here today is Agadim's Awakening from Zendikar Rising. This mythic is down 6.06% from $18.82 to $17.68 on the market and its average price is $18.69. Next loser of the day is Renin7 from Innistrad Double Feature. This card is down 6.07% from $17.13 to $16.09 on the market, and its average price right now is $18.50. And we've got Carpet of Flowers from the Secret Layer series. This card is down 6.14% from $33.88 to $31.80 on the market, and its average price is $34.98. Archmage's Charm from Modern Horizons. This card is down 6.38% today from $18.80 to $17.60 on the market, and its average price is $19. And our next loser on our loser section here today is Go Shinte of Life's Origin. Again on our list from Commander Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. It's down 8.64% today from $18.06 to $16.50 on the market. And its average price currently is $19.99. Next up on our losers section is Sanity Grinding from Eventide. This card is down 13.42% from $9.39 to $8.13 on the market, and its average price is $7.18. And our final loser of the day is Night Feeder's Visitation, or Night's Whisper from the Secret Layer series. This card is down 16.50% from $10 to $8.35 on the market, and its average price is $6.75. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day. We are going to start that list off here with Ashaya, Soul of the Wild from Zendikar Rising. This mythic is up 13.34% today from $8.47 to $9.60 on the market. And its average price is $9.20. The extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $12.75 on the market. And its average price is $12.68. This card is seeing most of its play in the Commander format in decks like Omnath, Locus of Creation, Selvala, Heart of the Wilds, Lord Windgrace, and even Omnath, Locus of the Royal as well in Commander. Next up on our winner section is Power Matrix from Mercadian Mask. This artifact is up 13.35% from 1011 to $11.46 on the market and its average price is $10.00. And 15 cents. This card sees most of its play also in the commander format in decks like Corvald, Fae Cursed King, and even attracts a Praetor's Voice, as well as Sisse, Weatherlight Captain decks. And the next winner on our list is Indantha Triome, which is an Akoriate layer of Behemoth's Tricycle Land, is what I like to call them, the Cycle Land of three colors. It is up 14.62% today from $9.30 to $10.66 on the market, and its average price is $9.59. Now, the showcase version of this card, which is also the borderless version of this card with different artwork, is sitting at $12.61 on the market, and its average price is $12.58. This card is seeing a ton of commander play. Index like Goshinte of Life's Origin, Attracts a Praetor's Voice, The Ur Dragon, Asika God of the Tree, Sisei Weatherlight Captain, and it also sees some pioneer play in decks like Niv to Light. 
And the next winner on our winner section here today is Polyraptor from Rivals of Ixalan. This dinosaur is up 15.05% today from $15.81 to $18.19 on the market and its average price is $17.53. Now this card pairs perfectly with Marauding Raptor, which essentially creates tokens of Polyraptor in a infinite combo, which is really fun to play with. And this card is also seeing a lot of commander play right now in decks like Jasath, Sun's Avatar, Atla, Polini Nest Tender, and even Zakama Primal Calamity decks in commander as well. And the next card on our list looks like it's another Triome land. It is Rogrin. Triome from Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths. This tricycle land is up 15.14% today from $12.95 to $14.91 on the market. And its average price right now is $14.43. The showcase version of this card with different artwork is sitting at $17.69 on the market. And its average price is $17.99. This card is also seeing a lot of play across a variety of formats in modern decks like Blink, Azorius Control, Elementals, and even 5-color Omnath decks, as well as Commander decks like Goshinte of Life's Origin, Hinata Dawn Crowned, Omnath Locus of Creation, and even the Ur-Dragon decks as well. Looks like we have a reserve list card on our winner section today, and it's a card that's been on our list a lot in the past two weeks, Avenging Angel. Up again from Tempest, 16.56% from $15.52 to $18.09 on the market. And its average price is a lot lower though, at $6.23. Next winner is Dark Sphere from The Dark. This artifact is up 19.58% today from $8.17 to $9.77 on the market and its average price is seven dollars and 22 cents now this is a card from a four horsemen set which means that it did have its print run numbers disclosed and there is only 269,000 copies printed of this card from the dark since we're still talking about four horsemen cards the next one on our list is another four horsemen card set from arabian nights it is eye for an eye this card is up 76.38 percent today from $34 to $59.97 on the market, and its average price currently is $54.98. Now this card did have its print run numbers disclosed, and there is only 31,000 copies printed from Arabian Nights. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with Honor Guard from 7th edition. This card is up 52.64% today from $4.92 to $7.51. Next up on our list is Vampire Nocturnus up again today from Magic 2010. This foil is up 58.41% from $293.90 to $465.58 with a bit of market manipulation. Wedding announcement from Innistrad Crimson Vow. This card is up 64.24% from $165 to $2.71. Next foil on our list is Volcano Helion from Planner Chaos. This card is up 65.07% from $272 to $4.49. And we've got Angelic Page, another 7th edition foil up 71.17% from $7.84 to $13.42. Next up on our foil winner section is Aspect of Mongoose from Time Spiral. This card is up 76.02% today from $5.13 to $9.03. Next foil winner of the day is Chromox from Eternal Masters, this mythic is up 102.20% from $106.56 to $215.46. Next card on our list is Witch Hunter, and this is the time-shifted version of this card, up 107.92% from $480 to $9.98. And our final foil winner... Of the day is Stern Judge from Torment. This old frame foil is up 135.50% from $2 to $4.71. 
Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit the like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm? As yes, I'm still trying to grow on this platform. I'm really trying to get to 15,000 subs and all the comments and likes that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel. Also, let me know in the comment section, what was your favorite mover of the day? And which cards are you most surprised to see on the list? And which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list? I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below. And also, I know it's St. Patrick's Day, so many of you are going to be going out drinking. Maybe you guys are drinking right now and you're actually hearing this episode. But please drink carefully. Stay safe, guys. And anyways, I'll see you in the next Market Mover video, which will be tomorrow. Have a great day, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.